Okay, guys, well, that's my bus. Loving Kildonan. Uh, that's as far as I can get out of the city. Uh, again, we gotta play that kind of game. So now we gotta head up this way uh, for till we get to the perimeter. Then we're gonna head east till we get to the 59. Then we can post up and we can get heading north. So we got a little bit of work to do, actually quite a bit of work to do. Uh, but we got off the bus just before two o'clock, and uh, yeah, I'm stoked, man. So we're gonna get across here without getting run over by some cars. There we go. Awesome. I gotta get my bag done up. Uh, and yeah, we're out of here. Awesome. Woo! I'd have to say that looks like the dumbest place for a stop sign. But to go up. This lady did so. That's it. Get on the phone. We got an apprehension to make. I'm not sure if that's a pelican or not up there. It's an awfully damn big bird, that's for sure. Awesome. So awesome. Huge shout out to Sarah. Thank you very kindly, Sarah. Awesome. My one ride out of Winnipeg all the way to the trailhead. What happened was that she was heading to the beach. Uh, she stopped, picked me up. She's going to give me a lift and decided to change her mind. Um, and she's gone on and she's checking out the dam uh, and the suspension bridge and all that kind of fun stuff So she brought me right to the trailhead, which is awesome. That never happens. Uh, well, it does happen once in a while um, But very so so seldom uh, Does that ever ever happen your first ride takes you? Uh, changing their mind and takes you all the way to the trailhead. So it's uh, just a little after five o'clock I had to pull out cameras and switch some gear around stuff like that but we'll go over, we'll take a look at the signs, and uh, yeah, let's go check this place out, guys. I am so stoked to be here. Um, and then we're going to hit the Trans-Canada Trail, and uh, yeah, we're going to find a place to camp up, whatever. Uh, I don't know anything about this place, uh, and no maps. Again, another trip without a map. It's, I, I'm seeing a theme here. I'm seeing a theme. But anyways, let's go check out these information boards, uh, and then we'll go check out the old dam. Awesome. Okay, this is our first look at the dam.
Man, I gotta tell you, for a place that started producing electricity in 1906, concrete poured by wheelbarrow right through the winter, this place is just awesome, man. So this is the four bay, uh, which is, in other words, it's the area where they held the water, which created pressure against the dam walls, uh, that we, so that there was more pressure going down into, into hitting the turbine. So it's pretty neat being on this side of the dam, where you can see if the water level was too high, it would go through those openings uh, in, in those uh, to alleviate too much pressure. This is one heck of a neat area here. This is the start of the upper viewing deck. Okay guys, that's gonna wrap up our time here at uh, Old Pinawa Dam. Uh, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go try to find our trail and we're gonna start hiking it because uh, it's quarter to seven at night and uh, it's time to head on down the trail down towards Seven Sisters where we're gonna take a look at that newer gener uh, generating station. This one was started producing electricity in 1906. It was shut down in 1951 simply because it needed the water flow uh, to head downstream to the Seven Sisters Generating System station. Station, yes. Anyways, so not a bad day so far, but let's go find our trail and we're going to uh, boogie on down, man. It's time to beat some feet down a beautiful trail. It's part of the Trans Canada Trail and it's gorgeous. I know it's gonna be gorgeous. I haven't heard from anybody, but you know what? It's, it's a top notch trail. So, like I said, the Pinawa Trail was. Uh, five number five on the top of trans canada trail hikes to do and so it has to be it has to be spectacular so let's go check it out here we go
Well, I found a decent little place to settle on for the night. Put my tent up here behind me. It's not quite as flat as what it looks like, but I'll give you a show around here in a little bit. It's about as flat as I'm gonna get in this place. Uh, the best part about this spot is that on rock, there's no mosquitoes. I'm not kicking them up anyways. Um, there's some around. Uh, obviously, you can see with the net. But uh, I got water uh, right here beside the tent. I can have a fire. And uh, this really looks to be some prime uh, wildlife viewing and maybe some photography. And uh, we'll see how that goes. I was already able to film uh, a river otter, as you've seen. So we're going to set up camp. I'm starving. I haven't eaten since I left my house. Uh, I had some baked spaghetti before I left. But, uh, you know, it's uh, five minutes to eight o'clock at night and it's time to get some grub in me. But first, going to get the tent set up. Uh, I don't think we're going to get rain tonight. It's not calling for it. Uh, we've had uh, heavy rain for the last three nights in a row, or three days, like straight, day and night. Uh, dumped a lot of water. Um, so we were, they're not calling for any t tonight. And it's supposed to be a Blue Jay day tomorrow, um, which is great. I'm just going to, we'll talk about that after. But just want to let you know that I've settled in on a beautiful little place to call home for the night. Certainly was blessed today. I uh, got camp set up here. I'm gonna go get some wood so that I can uh, cook on, uh, filter some water. As you can see, the river is glass. This is the this is the Winnipeg River, and it's absolutely glass. So, it's uh, almost 8.30, uh, surprising how dark it's already starting to get, um, which is kind of like a bummer in a way because, you know, <sighs> here we go, you know. Uh, but what can you expect for the 16th of August? And yeah, so we got some firewood here where they had a fire there earlier, somebody did, and uh, I'm gonna skank that. I'm gonna go grab some more real quick right now. Um, and yeah, and then I'll catch you back. I'm gonna have a little bonfire. We'll take a little look around probably in the morning Because um, it's time for this kid to eat and I'm famished. Oh, wow So but beautiful All right, I'm gonna go grab some wood and uh, catch back up with you Beautiful night So happy I'm so happy when I make these decisions. Like, I would be sitting at home bored right now. Just gorgeous here. Nice. Guys and gals, my friends. Oh, I tell you something. I had somebody not very happy with me last night. That river otter. Is this possible? I got the curtains wide open. Oh, that's not looking pretty. Uh oh, looks nice this way. Look at this. 
No. My rain fly, oh, my rain fly is touching a little bit right there. Look at this. Whoops. <laughs> Guess I didn't need, mean to do that, but oh well. well. That's crazy. It didn't rain last night. Huh. Huh. Hmm, I don't know what that means. It means I should get up and get the coffee on and get this tent and stuff put away. That's what that means. That's the direction that we came uh, from the old dam yesterday. This is the direction that we're going. Oh, it's uh, just 6 o'clock in the morning. I slept a little bit, but that... Excuse me? That river otter was some unhappy with me last night. I just fallen asleep. Um, and I thought that somebody had come up behind the tent and with a rock and threw it in the water, like a big rock, and it just went bloosh. Man, I grabbed bear spray, my headlamp. And I was coming out of my tent looking for somebody sneaking up on me. And here it was that dang river otter. He just kept plunk. And then he'd go away. And then he'd come back. Plunk. He must have did that until midnight. Oh, what a jerk. The Winnipeg River runs for I don't know how many kilometers. Hundreds of kilometers. I don't know why you had to be. I don't know why you had to be like that. But oh well. I camped as close to the water. I don't like camping right on the water because I understand that animals have to get to get their water and stuff. But it's not like they can't get water like anywhere. And this was the flattest tent pads that I could put up in this area last night, away from the mosquitoes as best as I could. But yeah, he wasn't too happy. Uh, so he didn't end up doing a day end wrap up. <sighs> Excuse me. Um, Cause it just got dark on me fast. Huh. So we're gonna go to the tent and stretch. That's ah, starting to look pretty beautiful. Yeah, let's get up. Let's get up. I wanna get out. I wanna get that color off. The, the golden color off. Where's my Crocs? My fake Crocs, sorry. <sighs> Let's get out there and see what this looks like. This looks pretty pretty smashing to be honest. Well, hey, I'm over here. That looks pretty smashing, honestly. Uh, and light is fleeting. We know that as a photographer. Oh, jumping. Look at this. Yeah. What do we got? What do we got? Look at this morning coming to be. Uh, it shows up just a little earlier for this. Got a little bit of smoke coming out of the water there. Beautiful. Okay, I'm gonna get my stove running. 
Um, and I'm gonna set up a time lapse on this guy and we'll see how that turns out. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do it right here. So I'm gonna drop the camera right here. And I'll get back to you. Sorry guys, it's bailing me, but I, I wanna get my time lapse going. I was just in a race to pack. It looked like rain. And old Bob come put his head up, poked through them clouds. And I just love these cool mornings. It's just beautiful. Okay guys, just before we get going here, uh, what's really nice is that at the trailhead, uh, there's free maps. So this is like one of the first trail maps I've had all year, and um, I'm pretty stoked about that. I like, they tell you the distances between the letters, so we can take a look here. So we started at N yesterday, for example, uh, right here at the Pinawa Dam Provincial Heritage Park. Um, so now I'm at... M here so if we look over here M to N so we came 2.8 kilometers to get here from uh, from the uh, dam site so in total yesterday we hiked about five kilometers we got one ride to the trailhead and uh, then we did another 2.8 so that was our mileage for yesterday plan on the day is to leave here at M and we're gonna come down here uh, and we're gonna do this hike all the way around the outside of Pinawa and that equals 11.4 uh, kilometers now if I was just to cut through here That would equal 1.6 kilometers But I'm not here to cut through anything. I want to see this place. So the goal today is to get around Pinawa and We're gonna end up down here at Seven Sisters Falls so between Pinawa, say B, and A, we want to camp somewhere in here. So we can just make a push in the morning, check that out, get back on the highway, and hitchhike home. So that's the plan on the day.
Okay, so this sign here talks about mud puppies. And this sign here talks about the great blue heron. And I love the great blue heron. So we got the bag dropped. I'm gonna grab you guys. Sounds like there's something going on over here. And uh, we'll go take a look at that. We'll come back, throw the bag on, and the trail continues this way. Oh, this is looking pretty. Look at this. Oh, I missed him. Oh, look at this. Oh, is this ever gorgeous? If I would have known this, I could have put my tent right here. Right here in this spot would have been beautiful. Look at this. Oh. I knew the trail was going to be pretty. I'm like, how do these guys get on the inside? Tuh, jerks. I knew this trail was going to be pretty, but exceeding, surpassing expectations for sure. Look at this. Hey, I just thought I'd take a second here amidst all the mosquitoes and deer flies. <laughs> I just swallowed one. Sorry. That was wrong. But I just want to show off this trail a little bit. This is like a really beautiful, enchanted kind of forest. Big, wide open trails. As you go along, I mean, through the trees, you can see little puffs of, of blue. Uh, that's the Winnipeg River system out there if I can get you tuned in here a little bit to what some of it um, if you can see that out there uh, I know it's pretty difficult but just like an enchanted kind of forest you know sometimes you can't see into the bush at all and then all the other times it just opens wide up with some nice mosses um, and you get a little bit of views of the river and stuff like that it's just yeah, uh, we're on an uphill now, and as you can see, it's very gradual. It's like, um, yeah, it's just, oh, what's this? Well, there's a path going down there somewhere, probably down to the river, I would imagine, because the river's just right there. Um, but yeah, I just want to show off what a beautiful little, for being in the forest for most of the time, um, is just stunning. Absolutely stunning. What a beautiful forest walk. Just look at how wide open that trail is. Like, just, I feel pampered. I really do. I really feel, I really feel like I'm pampered on this, on this trip right now. And uh, it's just, it is, it's absolutely stunning. I'm just so tickled that I'm here.
Now this is neat guys, check this out. Now I know they said there was motorized vehicles allowed on this trail, this, this, this section, but uh, I didn't realize you had this. <laughs> this is awesome, it's like an old airboat. Look at that up there, that's quite the cockpit. Wow, that's fabulous, man. Fabulous. And here's a peek through of uh, Winnipeg River system. And our trail, which we're still sharing with uh, motorized vehicles on this part. Uh, that only happened when you see me take that selfie at the sign. So, we continue. Away we go. Beautiful day today. It's just a blue jay day. I don't see a cloud anywhere in the sky, which is awesome. But, I got a feeling come this afternoon, now it's not even uh, 10 o'clock yet. But I got a feeling come this afternoon, she's going to be a scorcher baby. Okay guys, this looks like the entrance uh, to the suspension bridge. Not bad. It's uh, just 10.30 in the morning. And here we are. Yes indeedy. How are you guys doing today? We're good, you? I'm awesome, awesome. Making good time today. And there it is guys, one suspension bridge, this thing's beautiful, look at this, wow. Okay guys, it is that time to fuel up again, I tell you, boy oh boy, I'm burning some calories, but uh, yeah, this trip is just turning out far better than I had ever expected it to, um, the scenery, gorgeous, uh, one thing I really like about this trail is like every half kilometer or so, they put up these placards and it kind of gives you something to think about. Um, you know, you think about that placard until you get to the next placard because it is a forest walk. And I really like that. You're not just kind of being like hum de dum dumb in the brain dodo bird. Um, it's really nice that they have those plaques there. It stops and you know, you take a couple of seconds to read them. Um, but it tells you exactly what kind of plants and animals and, and reptiles and, and all that kind of stuff that are in that area. Um, and I really enjoy that. I really think that that's I mean, Pinawa has done an awesome, outstanding job of, of maintaining this trail. Uh, there's not a piece of garbage anywhere. Um, I, I, just, I, I just can't say enough good things about this trail. I am just so stoked. So right now, we're just going to have a simple lunch, just some uh, instant noodles. But I think I'm going to do up the double pack, so that'll be a quick 800 calories. Um, and simple, fast to do, and we'll get on, the, on our way again. So. I'm going to just get this stove all set up and rock in here. Man, what a beautiful day. She's, uh, she's getting warm, that's for sure. But uh, I'm not one to complain about that because I live in Manitoba, guys, remember? We got eight months of winter and our winters are brutal. Oh, Lord. So, 
There's no complaining about beautiful days coming from the leather tramp. Probably don't need the base, but I just, you know, some things when you start getting comfortable using them, uh, you get comfortable using them and that's that. All right, I got this guy yelling at me up here. Get this sucker up and run it. That'll be enough. And today again we're going to mix up some stuff, we're going to have beef and a chicken combo. Let's go right behind you. And just like that guys, by the time it took me to empty two packages into a bowl, two of the uh, flavors into the bowl, put the garbage into the receptacle behind you. I love my MSR uh, Pocket Rocket 2, the burner. It's a, such an awesome burner. And I got a little water left over for uh, doing the dishes. Lovely. Okay guys, well, just got all fed up there. Took about a 40 minute stop down break, which was awesome. Got to uh, talk to some uh, photographers. Um, just, just lovely talking to people like that. Uh, picked their brain a little bit, tried to hone my uh, craft just a little bit tighter, you know. So now that we're fed up, time to cross the suspension bridge and uh, carry on to Seven Sisters. All right, let's go.
this is exciting. Excellent. Now we're starting to feel more like a burial forest kind of trail, Canadian Shield kind of thing. Yeah, this is what we've been looking for. All right. Starting to wonder on that other, on the first part of that trail from the old dam down to the suspension bridge, uh, if that's the way that the whole hike was going to be. But I'm so stoked that we're starting to get into a little bit more ruggedness. Um, and that's kind of what I signed up for, is uh, a little less beaten path, you might say. So, all right, let's go, let's go find out what she's got to offer this one. clue uh, but Willis Drive you'll see our sign uh, and we just take it this way of course we got to get around the Pinawa Golf and Country Club 
And I don't know. I think I should have just played through. What do you guys think? <laughs> Let's get out of here before I get myself into more trouble. Wow, wait, I haven't got into trouble yet. What? All right. Let's go change that. Come on. I think it's awesome that they recognize me and my skills. I even have my own shop all of a sudden. Okay, so basically what happens when I showed you how we came up that road, we turn at Willis. Basically all you're doing is coming around the golf course. Uh, then you're gonna come through their parking lot and then you will pick up the sign again here. And it looks like we got some beach volleyball we can go play. I don't know what's going on, but it looks pretty decent. I'm gonna get myself run over here, so we'll go and look at what this thing has to say. Ironwood Interpretive Trail. Absolutely gorgeous. And look at this table. Granite. Big wood block for seats. Pretty nice. There must be like 30 outhouses at various spots along the trail um, to, to, you know, so you don't have to do life in public, uh, which is awesome. Uh, you know, stuff like bicycles and, and uh, children's uh, wagons, uh, lawn chairs, canoes unlocked, um, just, you know, it, that's the way a community should be. A community shouldn't be worried about, oh, is, is, is my stuff going to go missing? Um, that's not that's not a proper community in my in my aspect. Uh, kind of playing with some light here on the camera, uh, so sorry about that. But uh, yeah, I'm just gonna throw monster back on on my uh, back on the old muscle here, and uh, we're gonna beat feet out of the, out of Pinawa and uh, keep traveling down the Trans Canada Trail towards Seven Sisters. So without further ado, let's get out of here. Okay, if I had decided to. Uh, take the 1.6 kilometer trail through town. This is where I would come out. Here. And this is our way to Southern Sisters. Excellent. Okay guys, well that's the direction that I came uh, from just now 
and I'll spin you around here. This is the direction that I'm heading, like that. And as you can clearly see, well, let me adjust it here just a little bit. As you can clearly see, yeah, mosquitoes are just horrendous coming through that last section. But it is, it is what it is. I'll get this out of the sun a little bit. Uh, okay, so coming from this way, now uh, I've entered the White Shell Brindle Park. That's uh, where I am on the trail right now. Um, I've been on it for about a kilometer, kilometer and a half, somewhere in there. Uh, so I hiked three kilometers yesterday down the trail. Um, and I'm six kilometers from where I need to get to, uh, to Seven Sisters gen uh, power generating station. Um, so the trail is 28 kilometers to there. So we're about 19 kilometers, I think. I don't know. I haven't really sat down and thought, out, thought that out a lot. <laughs> Probably just embarrassing the hell out of myself right now, but whatever. Um, so it's, I'm looking for a place to camp. Uh, problem is I only have two and a half liters of water left and yeah, that'll get me through the night, you know, but, uh, I really prefer camping on some water. Um, this way I don't have to worry about, do I have enough or do I have to, um, excuse me, do I have to conserve water? I'm not a big fan of conserving water. If I need water, I need it and I just consume it. Um, that's my style anyways. Um, but we don't know what we have up here. We want to get somewhere that's a little bit open with some wind because the mosquitoes are horrendous, man. They're just eating me alive. Um, it's been no problem feeding them and the, and, the, and the deer flies at all today. I mean, they've got their fill, um, a, whole, a whole bunch of them. So, um, yeah, so it's uh, 10 minutes to five o'clock. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna truck around down here and see what's down the end of this road. Um, I don't know exactly why this road exists. So we're going to truck around down there. We're going to find out. And hopefully, we can find a nice little spot with some wind. Somewhere I can have a fire. And, and most importantly, though, is somewhere that's got water. So, I mean, I can go scrounge around back in, in the woods somewhere and probably find a little pool. Uh, you know, we did have a lot of rain over the last three days, but let's see if we can't pull something off with just a little bit better than that. All right, I'm going to get the bag back on. I had to stop for a blow. Um, just pushing hard to get through there, um, making time, and uh, just up my pace. And now I'm just sweat soaked um, and telling myself to slow down or I, I'm definitely going to be out of water. So um, let's choose on down this gravel road and uh, we'll see what, what's down there. All right, here we go. Okay, so the trail just broke out of there. And this is a, uh, well, trail, road, anyways. This is what we're looking at here now. Total different feel to the trail, that's for sure. Okay, well here we can clear, clearly see where we are. Still on that same road. Uh, distances, Seven Sisters Dam, four kilometers. I'm at the star, Seven Sisters Dam is there. We want to see that in the morning and then head back up and then head into uh, White Mouth Falls Provincial Park. So, looks like we're coming up to Natalie Pond. Uh, maybe another kilometer. Yeah, maybe, should be under a kilometer. Hopefully there's somewhere there that we can camp up. So, we're out of the White Shell Provincial Park. Uh, it's that dark green area there. Um, so, yeah, I guess, let's keep trucking on. We're getting our first view, I believe, would be Seven Sisters Generating Station. In true Leather Cham fashion, there's a sign there that says, danger, keep away, open pit. And that's where we're going, because I don't want to get any closer to the dam. 
I don't want to do that until tomorrow. And it's been a long enough day, you know? We're over 20 Ks on the day. And uh, my one knee is starting to, you know, it's starting to feel it. So we're gonna come down here and follow this trail. Oh, yeah, it's gonna be good to get off this knee. It's getting a little sore. Yeah, I got a little hobble going here. Okay, I'm gonna turn you off. I'm gonna get in here and I'm gonna uh, see what we got for camping. Look at the monster. Ant hill this is. This isn't zoomed in either. That is a monster. This is Natalie's Pond. We've seen that on the map. And this is my home for the night. Nothing fancy, no fires, just a good place to rest up for the night. And part of that I'm gonna do right now. Just get off this knee. It's a little tender right now. I can feel, I felt it, it feels a little swollen. I wanna get, get in, get out of these boots, uh, get out of these hiking clothes, uh, get some water on for tea, and uh, and uh, it's 10 after 6, gonna start eating. But yeah, knee's just a little tender right now. Should be fine though, just, you know, get off of it, stretch it out, and um, I try not to do it there. Eat, and just relax, and uh, take care of it for the night, and it should be fine come morning. So I'm not really too worried right now, I'm not too sure. I know I've seen some beavers out here, I've seen some ducks out here, and I believe there's a bald eagle over there somewhere. So, I'm gonna open the curtain, and I'm just gonna sit in there and get my tea ready, and uh, make some food, and just keep my eye out, and get my bigger lens on. That's what I wanna do right now, is get the get my long range lens on. So, my uh, 55 to 250 lens, uh, with this being a crop sensor camera, that gives me 1.6 equals a 400 zoom, so. Let's see if we can't find some wildlife. Dying for wildlife, man. Like a deer, come right up this trail right now. That would be awesome. All right, I'm gonna climb in and get out of these stinking clothes and just kick back and just relax a little bit, you know? So, I'm gonna do that. Okay, guys, here we have the uh, 18 to 50, or sorry, the 55 to 250 glass on the Canon SL3. Hunting for that wildlife. Just glass again tonight. Not a breath of wind. Extraordinary. day spectacular day wow uh, I thought I'd just uh, give the day of end end of day wrap up I don't know why I can never say that it's uh, eight o'clock I got here about six uh, and uh, yeah so I uh, guess we might as well start at the beginning of the day uh, woke up in a splendid just an adorable campsite, man. Oh, that that place where I camped up, uh, three kilometers down the trail from the uh, uh, Pinawa Dam Heritage Provincial Park. I uh, came three Ks uh, down the Trans Canada Trail and camped up as where you've seen. What a special place that is. Oh, man, just gorgeous and again the weather uh same as tonight not a breath the, like all the water around here is just glass um it's too bad i can't be out enjoying it right now i tried uh but the mosquitoes are horrendous so uh yeah so 
We came down the trail, we hit the suspension bridge, we had some lunch. That suspension bridge was pretty neat in itself. Uh, uh, some people there though, uh, left a little something to be desired, that's for sure. A lot, I met a lot of uh, great people there, um, Al and his wife, um, hey guys, uh, they had uh, Nikon cameras and uh, big lenses and uh, I talked with Al for quite a while until his wife caught up and, uh, and then we carried on the conversation for like another 10-15 minutes. So great to meet them. Uh, and uh, I got their Instagram account and stuff. I really got to get my Instagram account working, man, but I don't have a phone, so I'm locked out of it. I don't even know what's going on with it. So, um, but let's not get off topic here. Uh, and then uh, the trail was just diverse. Oh, no. And then I came down and instead of cutting through, they call it the bypass. Instead of cutting through Pinawa. I wanted to see it. I never seen it, but I didn't want to go downtown. I don't like going downtown. Downtown's a downtown. I don't care what city you're in. A downtown is a downtown and it sucks. <laughs> I'm an outdoor guy, not for an outdoor downtown city guy. No, I want to be outdoor where there's no people and no garbage and no yuckiness, man. Um, but the trail goes all the way, uh, skirts the very edge of the city. Um, and it's not even a city, it's a town basically, and uh, followed the river, um, just beautiful, like, there's one thing that caught, that is, caught me particular, a lot of things caught, caught me particular about uh, Pinawa, but they use a lot of uh, granite, finished granite, and big wood uh, timbers, and, and or, or just matching wood and, and granite, um, throughout the whole city, Throughout the whole town, um, all along the trail, it's just stunning. Not a piece of garbage. Everybody friendly. I was talking to everybody that I seen, man. Even guys that were close enough to shore in their boats, they were out there fishing. Oh, yeah, I'm yelling back and forth, having a great time with them, man. Just great, friendly people. I highly suggest if you're ever coming around this area, uh, take a stop into Pinawa and just to have a look and, and see the quality of life that's being lived in that town it's 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 to, enough to make a winnipegger jealous that's for damn sure um th that doesn't even need to be spoken really so uh yeah so then we just kept coming down the trail and it was very diversified it changed from rock and root uh to single path to being wide open uh really thick bush to to very sparse kind of woods then we went through some wetlands a couple times humidity just rocketed um and then then coming up to the dam this this last road was like i think four k's um of just straight gravel road to walk uh my knees started aching i was really glad to find uh a, there was a trail sign but i didn't know at the time what it was for um, and it's for uh, the snowman, uh, which is a snowmobile club here. So it's a snowmobile route. I'm kind of like just tucked off the side of it right up here by Natalie's Pond or yeah, Natalie's Pond. And I guess on the other side uh, in the morning when we'll go back, that's Natalie Lake. Um, I decided it was like a big retention holding uh, pond for the dam, but it's actually called Natalie Lake. <laughs> Um, so we uh, racked off 23 kilometers a day. I did some map work and took a look at that. So we got like less than 2K to the dam, um, which is fine by me. Uh, hopefully the knee is feeling good. We're going to go as light as possible tomorrow. Uh, like I've been carrying six pounds of water this whole trip. And, and you know, uh, I, I'm hoping that I, that I don't need to do that tomorrow. I'll jug up as best as I can, camel up, and I'll just take one liter with me. And I should be able to find some water uh, that uh, along uh, throughout my day because after the dam, then I want to head up to Whitemouth Provincial Park. Uh, I think it's called Whitemouth Falls Provincial Park Park. So seem to be hitting a lot of waterfalls here lately, um, and, and through uh, my hiking this summer, and that's fine. That's great. Um, nothing wrong with waterfalls. That's for sure. Uh, most of them are just beautiful and spectacular. Um, so I don't have a lot uh, of expectations for uh, White Mouth Falls Provincial Park tomorrow. Um, man, man told us flat as a pancake. Let's let's face it. Um, for the most part, and we've already done scene number one and number two 
uh, of the tallest waterfalls in Manitoba. So we're not really expecting a big deal, but who knows? Uh, things have surprised me before. That's the plan. Hit the highway and, and get the heck out of, out of town, get back home, get back to, uh, to life. You know what I mean? So I took my, uh, I took my uh, 250 lens out uh, to sit and, you know, uh, I tried to film some beavers and, and take some still shots of some beaver out in Natalie's pond. But the mosquitoes are just horrendous, man. Like, I'm, as far as it goes, I mean, honestly, I think uh, it's been a good season for me. I, I've, I've accomplished quite a bit. I, I've done some decent trips, quality trips, you know. Um, it, let's get on with shoulder season. I'm tired of these bugs, man, because the Ontario was ticks. And then the mountains was black flies and horse flies. And now the last two trips have just been horrendous, horrendous mosquitoes. And I'm, uh, you know, I'm, I'm good. I'm, I'm done with it, you know. Like, let's, let's just move on to um, some nice weather with no bugs. How about that for a change? Let's get some, some cool nights and frosty mornings and no more bugs, man. You know, like, it's, it's been enough this year. So, no complaints. No complaints, because at least with the bugs, I know that I've been out in the backcountry, and uh, it that's that's where I like to be. So, um, not complaining about it, but and I'm not wishing cold and snow to come. But at the same point in time, I, I've had my fill of bugs. Like I, I've fed maybe two or three million of them uh, this this summer. So um, I'm I, I'm pretty sure that I'm good to let my body heal and uh, maybe gain some weight back. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, as you can see, uh, please keep away. It's an open pit. Yeah, I know it's over there. Um, sun's going down. Um, I'm having my tea. Uh, got that as I got a couple hundred of them as a gift. And I was like, what? People are still giving tea as gifts? But splendid. Higgins and Burke. Uh, multi flavors. So I think this is... Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I was wanted to make black chai, but I only had two tea bags, and I had three of these ones, so I went with this one. Um, anyways, yeah, uh, just kind of basically we're all organized in here. Uh, Want to be up early in the morning uh, and just throw some grub down my throat. I got one liter. Of, of water left for the morning. So that'll be coffee and breakfast. Uh, when we hit Natalie Lake, I'll uh, fill up a, a, a two liter. I'll pound that down if I can. I'll fill it back up again, take one. We'll go hit the dam um, and then just carry on with our day. Should be a beautiful, spectacular day. Weather's still supposed to be just primo again tomorrow. Hopefully not as hot. Um, but again, not complaining. Uh, we'll take it. Because this is Manitoba, and we're heading for minus 30s and minus 40s, coming right quick, like too quick. So, um, we mind a little shoulder season, but that, I mean that just leads into, oh man, it's freaking cold, Bob. Anyways, I'm just gonna lay back. It's a shame I can't sit outside, but it is what it is. Um, I forgot a book, but whatever. I'm just stretching out, just re uh, resting the body, resting the knee. Um, playing with some gear. I got my uh, I got whoops some camera battery charge in here um, And yeah, just gonna clean the lens and just you know hang out just get ready for the morning and uh, Get up in the morning and just bust a move. I want to get out of here Because um, I want to spend time at the dam and I want to spend time at the at the other provincial park But I also want to get home tomorrow. So Hope you guys have been enjoying this trip um, I've just been loving it. Just a spectacular trip. Um, and you know how it goes. What took me so long. But um, just absolutely fabulous. And great hiking. Friendly people. No garbage anywhere. I haven't, I haven't, I haven't had a, a complaint or rant about garbage this whole trip, I don't think. So, awesome. That's a, that's a bonus. If I'm not bitching about garbage, then that's an awesome trip. So... Anyways, guys, I'm going to call this the end of day number two for this trip, and I will see you for coffee in the morning. Good night.
Morning, guys. We've got raptors. I gotta get my other lens on. Somewhere up in there. In that, uh, those birch. There's raptors. Like an eagle. It's up there. We got beaver out in the middle. We got beaver out in the water. Right there. It's gonna be hard to see. See that floating thing right there? Right there. That's a beaver. The sun's coming up. Oh, there it is. There, 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 there. Have you ever tried filming a time lapse? Five second interval? Handheld? While a great white pelican is gracefully coming through the scene? That's exactly what I just did here. Exactly what I was just doing. I'm gonna get my long range lens on and we're gonna shoot that pelican down there. Um, He's just the one, the pelican is just one of the most graceful, I mean that bird is huge, but he's one of the most graceful, graceful uh, birds that just know how to coast down into a landing. They are just amazing. Old Bob just coming up, look at him. Morning guys. Good morning. That's amazing. Hand holding a, a time lapse while great white pelican. This place is just coming to life. Look at this. Not even getting the coffee on yet, man. We gotta film that. We gotta get the other lens. It's right here. I'm gonna drop you and put them on. It's wet in here. Oh man, a lot of moisture last night. All right, I'll be back. Okay, so I lost that pelican for right now. But we got some loons. We're losing the sun. That sun's bright. at the uh, white uh, pelican. Just beautiful. It's hard, I got the sun coming right at the, at the lens. I'm sorry about that. It's my only vantage point.
And I'm gonna lose them right now to the sun, so. everybody seven sisters falls generating station awesome uh, this guy opened in 1951 uh, when they closed Pinawa generating station uh, the reason why they closed Pinawa generating station once again was to allow full flow of the Winnipeg River down here to seven sisters so not bad it's been a spectacular beautiful trip we're gonna go and see what we can do on this and uh, and then we're going to head her on down to the White Mouth Falls Provincial Park uh, from here. And then from there we'll head on home, but that's getting later in the day. Let's not get off topic or off track here. Um, let's go check out Seven Sisters Generating Station. What an awesome trip this is, man. I am just oh, so glad I came. Glad you guys came along with me. Let's go check this sucker out. Well, as you try to peek in the windows here. Really not a lot to see here. Let's try further down. Isn't that awesome? I guess this would be the overflow. And check this out. What a gorgeous place. Wow.
You know what's interesting here is that when you take a look at the old structure uh, that was producing en uh, energy in 1906, these structures are very, very much similar. Thank you to the gentleman that just came out of uh, Seven Sisters, the employees here, Manitoba Hydro. Uh, without them, I would be uh, have cost myself a huge time penalty in going the wrong direction. So my direction is actually across the dam, and then we keep going. So thank you, gentlemen. Keep doing what you're doing. We all depend on you. So again, I'm glad get you out of the sun. I'm glad I'm not one of those guys that doesn't ever want to ask for directions. Uh, the hydro guys pointed me in the right direction. I walked past where I, where we, I, I had just shown you where I thought maybe I should go and I didn't go. Uh, a local that lives here told me that yeah actually that is the correct way. So if I was one of those guys that never asked for directions, man I would be spending a lot of wasted time. Woo! All right let's get back to where we were and we'll carry on. We're going over the bridge, we're hanking right, and then we're on our way. So, awesome. Beautiful day. Again, not a cloud in the sky. It's really starting to heat up now, so I'm glad I'm not going to be doing a lot of road walking. So, all right. Let's get back to where we were. So here is our trail, uh, the direction we just came from. And now, this is where we're just coming into. Wow, look at this beautiful area. So I'm imagining, and I'm hoping, that this is uh, White Mouth Falls Provincial Park. Let's see what this sign has to say.
people out this afternoon which is awesome to see and uh, right now I'm just basically where am I basically I'm just uh, doing up some north sidekicks and fuel up just a little bit I already made myself another liter of coffee just so I can hang out for a little while here today um, which is you know pretty much what the doctor ordered right now it's just gorgeous. Again, a cloudless day. It's another Blue Jay day. Um, go Toronto. As you can see, I don't need to run my stove all the time as I'm doing up my uh, sidekicks. They will, uh, once you get the water hot, they'll reconstitute. Um, and then probably about after 10 minutes, I just throw a little bit more heat to it and it sucks up the rest of that water. I don't have to waste a lot of fuel on cheap meal ideas. So guys, what I'm going to do is just try to study the map on how to get out of here um, because we came in through a path. Now we want to leave by road so we can go home. Uh, so I'm going to try to figure out how to get that done. I'm going to have my meal and I'll bring you back after that. All right, it's a, such a beautiful, stunning day here. Just look at the scenery of what I was having lunch to. Isn't that amazing? That is amazing. That's excellent. Anyways, time is uh, one o'clock and it's time for me to get out of this park or I'm never going to make it home today. So as you can see, we got monsters all packed up, tripods getting ready to go. We don't know how much shooting we're going to do yet until we get out of the park. Um, this time I was smart. I kept out my sleep shirt so I didn't stink like an animal when I got in somebody's car, uh, which is always appreciated by other people. Okay, well, I hope that you liked this damn hike as much as I did. <laughs> All that's left for me to do is get home now, guys. So thanks for joining me on the channel today, your channel for fun and adventure in the outdoors. I'm Leather Champ, and until next time, get out and stay out. <laughs>